so you want to be able to send a video signal from one location to another location up to 800 feet distance wirelessly yes without hdmi cable or wires in between more about that in this video are you ready let's get upgraded This is the CVW Swift 800 Pro, a wireless video transmission system that can transmit a video signal up to 800 feet. Yes, you heard that right. Up to a good old 800 feet. That's 250 meters. Quick introduction for those of you who don't know what a wireless video transmission system is. It's a device that can transmit a video signal wirelessly from a transmitter which you can attach to a camera or a video feed to a receiver which you can then attach to a monitor or a bigger screen for viewing. This system is very useful for high budget production film sets. And fortunately, several brands like the Crystal Video Wireless or the CVW are now producing affordable versions of wireless video transmission systems like this one, the CVW Swift 800 Pro. This is their latest model for their Swift 800 lineup and I recently reviewed their previous model which is the standard Swift 800. In comparison, there are a lot of upgrades in this one and we will talk about that later. The CVW Swift 800 Pro offers a wireless video transmission system on high definition quality specifically targeted to filmmakers and small producers who are just starting out but wants to level up their production game. It has a listed transmission distance of 800 feet or 250 meters with ultra low latency and high stability. The Swift 800 Pro is professionally designed for film and TV production, live streaming, and video recording. This product is more of a team player's product as it can help the production in transmitting video signal from camera operator or the shooter to another monitor that can be for another team member or the client or the director. It speeds up the process to see real time each frame or scene that is being taken. Now that you have an idea on how this product can possibly help your production, let's first talk about what's in the box. It comes with a cushioned handbag which provides full protection for the device even in a harsh outdoor environment. It has 5 antenna, 4 which you will be using and 1 is an extra. The build quality is much improved because now it is built with high quality aluminum body that weighs around 220 grams which is closely identical to the weight of the smartphone. And here's the size for a comparison. It's a lot smaller compared to my iPhone 10. It works with a signal frequency of 5 GHz with a bit rate of up to 25 Mbps. It's an upgrade from the previous model which only have 15 Mbps bit rate. That's 66% improvement from the first generation. The increase in bit rate means it will give you a clearer view on the image quality when monitoring. It can transmit the following resolution and the frame rates. And let's talk about the OLED display which will help provide you with abundance of information about your device's status. It will show you the battery level or the status and also the fan which you can toggle on and off just by clicking the mode button. It will show you your signal level or signal strength plus the video format you're in and the channel display. It will also warn you if your battery is too low plus there's a low battery light indicator just above the power button. A while ago, I mentioned about the fan. There's a built-in fan in both the receiver and the transmitter and it is there to dissipate heat for when using the device for a longer period of time. Well, if you're curious on how it sounds, here's a sample of the fan noise. Usually, it's no issue when filming as most audio sources are on the talent via lavalier mic or a boom mic. But if you really need a quiet environment or an audio, you may turn off the fan in one click. And on the body, you can see an RF channel button, a mode button, an HDMI input and output, a DC input, SDI loop out, SDI in and double SDI out, NPF battery slot with a very tight and secure locking system, 
a DC supply of 7 to 36 volts and here's the power consumption as reference you can also see the USB-C port which you can use if you prefer to use a power bank or other USB charging devices this can be very helpful when you're filming outdoor for a longer period of time the Swift 800 Pro has two modes of operation one is the point-to-point, -point, which can transmit a video signal to a monitor via HDMI and an SDI at the same time. The other one is the RTSP mode or the app mode, which can send video signal up to four smart devices at the same time. It can do some processing of image effects, which can be very convenient for post-production. And let's talk about the transmission delay. For point-to-point, -point, it has a listed ultra-low latency of 70 milliseconds at max. Well, fortunately, on my test, it has a lower latency. The next one is the RTSP mode. The transmission delay is listed to have 170 to 220 milliseconds. Well, in real production tests, your client will not be able to determine the delay because it is very minimal. And because the delay is usually below 70 milliseconds, even focus pooling will not be much of an issue with the Swift 800 Pro. With all that being said, let's test out the promised 800 feet working distance of the CVW Swift 800 Pro. Okay, so right now we will be doing a distance test and we will be testing out the maximum range distance of 800 feet of the CBW Swift 800 Pro. Okay, so this is how we will be testing this out. So our receiver is attached to our Dash View R7 Plus monitor. And I will be walking down that area for the, hundred, for the 800 feet working distance test. Okay, let's go. So basically, I will not be using the 800 feet maximum working distance for the type of work that I'm doing. But who knows, right? It's actually very good to have something extra just in case you will be needing that extra feature or extra distance or range. That's our receiver. It's a bit windy right now. So this is also a good test to test out the IBs of the Fujifilm X-T4. Again, our receiver is around that area. I hope the footage is not that shaky. It's it's watchable. Basically, I don't know if there's signal interruption already or not. But I guess right now we are at around 200, almost 200 meters, maybe. I can't even see our receiver. Our receiver is around that area. Okay. Our receiver is around that area. It's very small. Uh, quite near the motorcycle. Okay. So I'm not sure if our signal is still very good. 
So maybe we're around 200 meters already. But okay, I'll I'll try to still keep walking. So we'll stop here. This beautiful scenery. Quick disclaimer: the Crystal Video Wireless did send me this CBW Suite 800 Pro as part of the prices on their giveaway contest months ago. I already did a review on their previous model, which is the standard CBW Suite 800. If you want to check out my review on that one, here's the link to that video. Now back to the Suite 800 Pro. Let's roll. And let's talk about what are the things that I like about the CBW Suite 800 Pro. First of all, the build quality is a whole lot better when you compare it to the previous model which is plastic. It's a high quality plastic though, but this one is BAM! It's solid! Aluminum metal. With this one, you will be more confident that it will last you longer as it seems that it can withhold accidental drops. Well, this one is a solid metal aside from film production usage you can also use this on different scenarios like on wedding meeting events or presentations or live streaming and other applications where you where you can use any device that feeds out hdmi signal and you can transmit it wirelessly on any hdmi compatible monitors or screen i also like the idea that this has an sdi loop out so for a more professional cameras this is very useful and I also like the idea that you can switch on and off the fan whenever you need to and the overall build quality is really amazing you know that this is a high quality product this one is sturdy this one can last you longer <laughs> I also like that both the receiver and the transmitter have an USB-C charging port so for longer shoots, you can just plug it on a power bank. And let's talk about some of the shortcomings of the CBW Swift 800 Pro. First of all, upon opening the package, it doesn't include any HDMI or SDI cable. So maybe they assume that the people who will buy their product already have an HDMI cable or SDI cable. Though in my opinion, every customer wants some freebies or some useful materials to be included on each package. And on their transmitter, although I love that they have an SDI loop out for a more professional cameras, I wish that it has an HDMI out which can be very helpful for some cameras who doesn't have SDI port. <laughs> I think that will be a very good combination to, to use on even on a higher end or a lower end cameras. I guess that concludes our review for this high quality wireless video transmitter, the CBW Swift 800 Pro. So if you're on a budget for a wireless video transmitter, you may check out the CBW Swift 800 Pro, especially as it can provide you a range of 800 feet distance transmission. So if you find this video helpful and informative, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and keep inspiring, keep creating. See you in the next upgrade.